A well-known Jacksonville comic book store on the south side is back open after a car crashed into the building last week. What a scary situation. A worker was hurt. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us the damage and explains why the owner still has some major questions for police. Traumatizing, like a bomb went off. That's how people describe this scene after a car slammed through Gotham City Limit last Tuesday night. Cries for help from one of the comic book store's employees who was hurt. Customers and other workers were also inside. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! That was Ben Kingsbury's voice. He opened this store in 2018. I've never experienced any kind of survivor's guilt. Um, excuse me. It's very hard for me to think about Satana being hurt and not me. And she's very bruised, very sore. And to be quite honest with you, um, I'm, I'm a little afraid. I'm not sure Santana will ever come back. Kingsbury says the driver, whose face we are blurring since she has not been arrested, and a man were in that car. Kingsbury says he has several questions for police, especially after he said the responding community service officer told him that they did not have probable cause to run a sobriety check. How she gained that much speed in this little tiny parking lot to prepare, propel herself through the front window. The fact that they were just let go on their own recognizance and that woman could be driving around Jacksonville potentially doing this again today is absolutely terrifying to me. That crash leaving all of this damage, $30,000 worth of merchandise and products lost inside Kingsbury Estimates. This front door is temporary for now. You see it's all boarded up. That's the case for the entire front of the store. You see all of the boarding up because all of the damage to the front of the store. There's no timeline of when all this is going to be fixed. And even when we get a little bit closer, you still see the tire marks from where that car went through with the front of this building. But it's what the community did to help in the aftermath that stands out to Kingsbury. They cleaned, brought gloves, shovels, trash bags, money, cars, and even flowers. It's a reminder of why Kingsbury said he opened this store six years ago. Comic shops really are the escape from real life. Even if it's for 10 minutes, life is hard on everybody, no matter what you do. And to, so to see people in the community care, not only care, but actively feel like they are a part of the shop, I can see the uh, emotion that it elicits on them um, is the reason that I'm able to keep going. And start repairing what was broken. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.